everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is shubham alok i teach astrology and i do consultations using very astrology only and today i am going to talk about one very indispensable tool of vedic astrology that is kaksha what happens one rashi is divided into eight parts the division is done from 0 degree to 30 degree these eight parts belong to the seven planets from sun to saturn and ascendant the division is based on the order of speed now one rashi is 30 degree so you divide it into eight parts one part will be 3 degree 75 minutes right so this 3 degree 75 minutes is divided into eight parts in the order of speed so what happens first 0 degree to 3 degree 45 minute is ruled by saturn then 3 degree 45 minute to 7 degree 30 minute is ruled by jupiter then 7 degree 30 minute to 11 degree 15 minute is ruled by mars then 11 degree 15 minute to 15 degree is ruled by sun then 15 degree to 18 degree 45 minute is ruled by venus then 18 degree 45 minute to 22 degree 30 minute is ruled by mercury then 22 degree 30 minute to 26 degree 25 minute is ruled by moon and lastly 26 degree 25 minute to 30 degree is ruled by ascendant this division is equal and same for every rashi there should be no confusion regarding this now this calculation how do you use it how do you use this division now basically this division is a part of ashtavarga now you understand ashtak varga ashtak varga is one planet supporting another planet the concept is very simple that no planet works in isolation so one planet in one house is either supported by other planets or not supported by other planets this is what happens support or no support the same is taken in kakshas i will do what i will do in today's video i will tell you two of my researches and the uses of ashtakvarga the uses of kaksha otherwise also the first research is you say there is one planet in a house any planet in any house for that matter so let's take an example one person is having saturn in scorpio this saturn is 2 degree saturn now you see this table this saturn is going under the saturn kaksha only now what does kaksha mean according to me kaksha means support so this saturn is supported by saturn itself now say this is a libra lag libra has an libra ascendant saturn will become the lord of fourth house and fifth house this saturn is situated in second house saturn is supposed to give wealth but how he will give wealth he will give wealth through his resources support is resource also so because saturn in the second house is situated in the kaksha of saturn itself saturn which is the fourth lord and fifth lord one will earn money from the factors of fourth house one will earn money through the factors of fourth house that means one will earn money through property vehicle mother etc dealing with clothes that comes with the fourth house dealing with water that comes with the fourth house and all these things and one will earn money because of fifth house so one will get money through their children one will get money by education one will get money by managerial position and all the significations of the fifth house the basic point is the one planet in one rashi is supposed to give you a result one planet in one rashi it is supposed to give you one particular result and this particular result should be should come with help of few other planets 
the help from few other planets is indicated by Aksha. To be precise with you. Right, so you said there is one planet in seventh house. It is giving good result or bad result related to seventh house, whatever result it is giving. But that, and it is good result only. Kaksha, I will not say Kaksha gives bad result. Kaksha gives good result only. So there is one planet in seventh house. That planet is good. Kaksha tells you what good. If that planet is bad, Kaksha tells you how to avert that bad result. For an example, I will take a chart for you. This chart you take. I am pretty sure you see the chart. Venus sits in the seventh house. Seventh house, 18 degree Aquarius. You follow the table, 18 degree, 3 minute Aquarius, Venus goes to the Kaksha of Mercury. Now this Venus is supported by Mercury. This Venus is supported by who? This Venus is supported by Mercury. Now you see in this chart, Mercury is the second house lord. Mercury is the 11th house lord. So Venus in the 7th house is supported by Mercury, which is the second house and 11th house lord. That indicates there will be family support in marriage. There will be gain of money through marriage. And marriage will give financial security to the native. Okay. Now you see there is Rahu in the 11th house. This is very important technique. You know what? I teach techniques. I don't teach principles. So what happens with techniques? You know, you can use it to solve your query and dilemma. See, for Rahu in the 11th house, you can get confused what result Rahu will give in the 11th house. Simple thing. You take a degree of Rahu, 22 degree, 36 minute. 22 degree 36 minute, it come in the Kaksha of moon, it gives the result of moon. Moon is 12th house lord, moon situated in 6th house. Placement of planet also used. Now moon is the 12th house lord, moon situated in the 6th house, Rahu in the 11th house, it is giving the result of moon. Now because moon is the 12th lord, Rahu in 11th house give result of 12th house. As like 12th lord in 11th. This Rahu in 11th house will actually cause loss of money. Now, moon is in the 6th house also. Rahu is giving result like moon. So, it is also giving result like 6th lord in 11th house. That indicates the person will have disease. The person will 6th and 11th connection. The person will gain money because of litigation. The person will gain money through court cases. The person will gain money through diseases. That means he can be doctor also. Same example you take for Ketu, 22 degree 36 minutes, same in Moon Kaksha it will fall. Moon as the 12th Lord, Ketu goes to Kaksha of Moon, Ketu situated in 5th house, it is akin to 12th Lord going into the 5th house, whatever result of 12th Lord in 5th house is, person will be very intelligent, there will be problem in childbirth, all these problems will come to pass. Few more examples I would like to take. <clears throat> Moon goes to 6th house, moon 23 degree 51 minute. 23 degree 51 minute, moon goes in the kaksha of moon itself. Now planet goes to his own kaksha, this makes the planet very powerful. Even if you see a debilitated planet, but if as per kaksha principle, the planet goes into same kaksha, you take that planet as powerful. This is a very big secret of astrology that I have found and I am researching it. With, I am telling it, it to you. This is the biggest big secret that I have found. There is no one else which can talk about. I have researched it all by myself and I am sharing it with you. If planet is even debilitated, combust or anything as such, but if he goes into his own Paksha, the result will be very good. The weakness of the planet will not be there. Take one more example. Sun goes into the ninth house. It is in 3 degree 41 minute. As per Kaksha principle, it is ruled by Saturn. So sun is also giving result like Saturn. Now Saturn is the seventh house lord. Saturn is the sixth house lord. Saturn situated in the second house. So second house, ninth house, 
and remember for kaksha you always have to tell good results so second lord in ninth house one earns money through father second ninth connection one earns money through father one earns money by dealing with luck so one earns money by selling religious objects one earns money by doing astrology and all those things right Ninth house lot connected to second house, eleventh house is another very potential combination for one earning through Jyotish. Ninth lot connected to tenth house also indicates good interest in Jyotish also. Seventh lot connected to the ninth house, rise of fortune after marriage, wife is fortunate, etc. And sixth lot connected to the ninth house, that means one will become fortunate or one will get chances one after defeating their enemies. Ninth house indicates luck. Sixth house indicates enemies. More enemies you make, more enemies you defeat, more lucky you become. Likewise, this way, the result of planet should be decoded as per Paksha. And this works very well for general prediction also, for the Shantra, the Shantra analysis also. This is what I have researched and I am sharing this years of hard work with you. Another thing about it. So basically, how Kaksha is used is, if you know basics of Ashtakvarga, you should know it. If you don't know basic of Ashtakvarga, I have two videos already on Ashtakvarga. Okay? Watch that. Now you see how Kaksha works. This is sun in the ninth house. Sun in the ninth house, you see Ashtagvarga of sun. Sun is getting three point. Now this is bad sun. If, if sun gets more than four point, it will be a good sun. If it gets less than three, four point, it is bad sun. This sun is getting three point only. So this is a bad sun. That means sun will do bad result with respect to ninth house. That basically means when sun comes to transit to ninth house, when sun aspects the ninth house, when sun goes over the ninth lord, that is Mars here, or when sun aspects the ninth lord in transit, that he will do when transiting Pisces. Sun will create bad result to ninth house. Now, when this bad result sun will create, so basically what I have told up to this extent is when sun goes to Aries, when sun goes to Libra, when sun goes to Virgo, when sun goes to Pisces, sun will create bad result related to ninth house. Because sun is basically situated in the ninth house and he is having less than three points. That means he is bad for the ninth house, bad for father, bad for luck. But now you can say sun will remain in one Rashi for one month. How do you be more precise? More precise, you become with respect to Kaksha by the using of Kaksha. Right click, so Prastarashtag work of sun, so PAV of sun, you click and you find the three point that sun is getting in the third, ninth house is because of Saturn, sun and Mars. Now you go to Kaksha table, you know Saturn rules 0 to 3 degree 45 minute. Mars rules 7 and a half degree to 11 degree 15 minute. And sun rules 11 degree 15 minute to 15 minutes. This basically means whenever sun go to Aries, Virgo, Libra, Pisces in this case, specifically transiting between the degrees from 0 degree to 3 degree 45 minute or transiting between 7 and a half degrees to 15 degrees, those few days in the one month transit of sun will be the most crucial period when bad result related to ninth house, related to father, related to luck will occur. If this sun was in ninth house having more than four points, instead of indicating bad result, it should indicate good result. Basically meaning this Kaksha based degree division of Rashi helps you accurately and precisely pinpoint when that particular result is going to happen. This is the traditional uses of Kaksha. Now, thirdly and lastly, I will share my second original research 
related to kaksha with you and when i say original research this means i have researched it all from scratch all on my own actually you know i have a stint for doing original researches i don't like taking someone's researches and teaching it or working over it somehow third thing is there third thing my research is the kaksha lord of a planet works as a servant is a bad word you perceive it in a bad word but still for for the matter of explanation i should say servant of the kaksha lord is the servant of the basically meaning if a planet goes to the kaksha of another planet if the planet goes to, remains in his own kaksha this does not apply okay if the planet goes to the kaksha of another planet that another planet works as his servant basically meaning whatever work this planet have to do the other planet in whose kaksha he is going will do the work see remember the first technique it is just the first technique in the inverted angle i am just shifting the first technique i am telling you if rahu goes to the kaksha of moon rahu works like moon and because rahu is in the kaksha of moon moon works as the servant of rahu and whichever result rahu is to give that result you feel in moon dasha antardash secondarily whatever result this rahu have to give this will come through moon remember our example here rahu in the 11th house should indicate gain of money this rahu is in gemini also good rashi now because this rahu goes into the goes into 22 degree 36 minute which is a kaksha belonging to moon moon will work as a servant for this rahu that means gain of money that rahu is indicating should happen in moon dasha antar dasha secondarily gain of money that this rahu is indicating should happen through moon that should happen through mother that should happen through jewelry that should happen through clothes that should happen through investment that should happen through people from the foreign land because all these things that i have told you gain through mother because moon signifies mother gain through foreign land because moon is in the 12th house right this is another point. because venus is in the 7th house 18 degree 03 minutes which makes it fall in the venus in the 7th house 18 degree 03 minutes which actually makes it fall in the kaksha of venus itself so it is not applicable here basically we take jupiter in the third house jupiter in the third house 12 degree 5 minutes jupiter goes to the kaksha of sun now the result that jupiter is going to give jupiter in the third house that is fifth lord in third house struggle with children and eighth lord in third house that is misfortune because of person being too the person being involved in too much risk this result will come to pass in sandasha antardasha one secondarily this result will come to pass because of sun so eighth house indicate misfortune third house indicate courage misfortune is coming because the person became too courageous and this happens because of being instigated by a government official that is natural signification of sun sun naturally indicates government official and because sun is the lagna lord this thing happens because taking such risk is the nature of the native lagna indicates the nature so these were two of my original researches based on kaksha that i thought to share with you today and the traditional uses of how kaksha is used to precisely pinpoint when some event will happen i am pretty sure that i have been able to clearly explain it to you and you have enjoyed learning these techniques and you have enjoyed learning my original researches that i have done all on my own 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दीडियो नमस्कार